Hi my Oofies, it's Euphoric and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have this family here that I created. Um, I just want to talk about this family, this household. So the first one that I started creating here was um, Amari. Her name is Amari. She is, um, I ended up making her ambitious. I ended up making her um, active. Basically, I wanted Amari to be like that one mom where she's like, oh yeah, my child is taken care of, my child is fed, ain't nobody gonna have to look back and make sure my kid is good because I'm gonna make sure my kid is good, you know? Amari, if, I feel like Amari is like the type of parent where she's like, she tells her kids like, if you need me, you better call me like if you're at a slumber party i don't care if it's two in the morning three in the morning four in the morning you better call me if you need me to come pick you up because i will come pick you up sweetheart i will come get you all you got to do is call me i am just a phone call away i don't care if i got my bonnet on my little biddies is out i'm putting my clothes on get myself together i'm coming to pick you up i feel like amari would not play about her kids like and she would tell her wife every time she'd be like lana I don't play about these kids. You better come pick. You better go pick her up. I don't want her sitting outside the school all day, for them teachers to be walking around talking about us behind their back about my child. I feel like she would be the type to like, really tell her kids like, you you are enough, okay? You are enough. You should love yourself. You deserve to love yourself. And if you ain't gonna love yourself, how you gonna love somebody else? I feel like she would be that type of mom to give those pep talks to her kids. And she'd be like, you want to come with me to go? You want to do mommy and me yoga? Like, I've, I don't know. I had a lot of fun coming up with her character, the concept for her and everything. Also, I really love that bonnet. I love that bonnet. I think it's by Kiko Vanity. Look, Kiko Vanity is going to eat every time, okay? I say that literally about my favorite creators. But Kiko Vanity is gonna eat every time I'm telling you but yeah and then Amari also she she cares about how she carries herself like that's why I wanted to give her a lot of accessories I wanted to make sure that she was like for her party outfit especially I wanted to make out make sure she was glammed out like I wanted to give her the earrings the necklace the nails everything I was supposed to put a wedding ring on her but I forgot shame on me I, and she just looks really good in red. Amari looks so good in red. Like, she would definitely be the first one to pop off out of the two moms that I made for this family. Like, Amari don't play, y'all. Amari don't play. I And I really hope y'all have fun playing as her. Y'all can really portray her however you want to. But that's how I portray her in my head. I just think she's like that mom where people hear about her and they be like, oh, she don't play about her kids. You know? Like, she really looks out for her kids. She really cares about how they feel. She always, I feel like she always tells her daughter, Quinn, she's like, do not be afraid to tell me your feelings. Like, we can have conversations about things that bother you. I don't want you to feel like you can't have those conversations with me because I'm your mother. I'm supposed to help guide you. Now, that don't mean I'm going to be your best friend and let you walk all over me and do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, I'm your mother, and I love you, and I care about you. So... That's Amari. I absolutely loved this character. She is... I think she's one of the prettiest Sims I've made. Like, look at her. Look at her. Okay, mother. Mother. I don't know what I was doing right here. But then I moved on to making Lana. Lana is a lot more chill because Lana feels like if both of us are on that same energy... It's just going to cause a lot of unnecessary mess. So Lana's very calm. She's the one to be like, baby, calm down. I'll handle it. I, I'll be, I'll talk to them. Baby, don't, don't, don't get upset. It's okay. We got it. Lana would be the type. <clears throat> Lana likes to laugh. Lana likes to joke around. Lana likes to do her own thing too. Like she likes her alone time, but you know, when it's time to be there for her, her child, for Quinn, she puts all that aside. She doesn't have a problem putting herself last or putting others before her because 
she feels like as a mother that's something you have to prepare yourself to do she is a team player when it comes to parenting like when they first had Quinn she would help with like you know trying to get Quinn to sleep you know how parents are when they try to put their baby on a sleep schedule Lana was like a hundred and ten percent contributing she would always tell Amari like give me the baby let me hold her you go take a break go 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 outside get something to drink drink some water watch some TV just relax and I'll take care of the baby Lana is big on taking up responsibility like if there's something going on there's any issues Lana has no problem being like baby I got it or like babe I can I can take care of it Lana has that that confidence boost you know where she can take care of things on her own but sometimes I feel like Lana would be the type of person where it would get a little too she'd go a little too far trying to take care of everything by herself she just doesn't she doesn't want Amari to worry because she knows how Amari gets about Quinn she knows Amari do not play about their child so of course Quinn is gonna you know when Quinn is going through stuff Lana is gonna be there you know to help out Lana's gonna be there to make sure Amari isn't stressed out but you know sometimes Lana lets Amari take the reins too she'll be like babe I got a lot to do today I got a lot going on can you please just help me out and Amari of course she's like yeah I got you baby I got you but yeah Lana she doesn't really care too much about makeup or necklaces or jewelry she just she's not too big on jewelry but she doesn't mind it she doesn't really wear makeup she honestly doesn't have to neither of them do but Lana specifically she's just like mm, I let my natural face do the talking versus Amari Amari just likes just likes putting on makeup it's fun for her but Lana she's like eh, it takes too much time then I gotta wash all that shit off like what if I forget to take it off so she's just like eh, it is what it is I'm not really going out to look good for nobody except for Amari anyway so you know it ain't that big of a deal for her so yeah that's Lana that's her that's my girl Lana now as for Quinn Quinn is kinda like she likes to be like the class clown at school she's a real goofball she likes telling jokes she tells some of the corniest jokes to Amari and Amari be like eating it every time she be like girl you need to be a comedian when you grow up she Amari loves hyping Quinn up like she loves hyping her jokes up I feel like Quinn would like to do like practice stand up in front of her mom's on Friday nights just like practicing her little jokes I just think it's cute <laughs> I, I just think it would be so cute but um I think we're getting to the end of the video we got about 30 seconds left um I apologize for the inconsistency with my uploads I've had a lot going on um I've been been grieving you know but I won't go into detail about it I just know that I'm I'm okay Bay's okay we're making it you know but um, thank you guys so much for watching y'all have a wonderful day afternoon or night and I'll see y'all in the next video Mwah. bye